And then I, I bring you greetings from Nigeria, particularly from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Oshun Province 6, with their quarters in Zion Omega Chapel in Oshogbo. I want to specially thank the convener of this meeting, our sister, Sister Titila or Samuel. Just like she said, uh, we've been together for over 20 years by the grace of God. I thank God for your life. And I pray that this grace will continue to multiply in your life. Everlasting Joint Foundation will continue to work stronger and stronger in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will not be tired, you will not be weary in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Shall we pray? We give you glory, Lord. As we worship you, we give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, you are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we worship you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Brethren, as we go on in this meeting tonight, by the grace of God, it's a prayer meeting. The Bible tells us in Psalm 65, verse 2, Psalm 65, verse 2, that our God is a prayer answering God. I want you to lift your voice to him and say, Father, I know you hear and you answer prayers. Tonight, please, by the prerogative of your mercy, answer all my prayers by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus. Please open your mouth and pray. It's a prayer meeting. Please open your mouth wide and pray to the Almighty and say, Father, because I know you are a prayer and speak God, by the prerogative of your mercy, answer all my prayers tonight and answer them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, we give you praise. Thank you for this meeting. Thank you for all the past editions of this program. Accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Lord, we commit this meeting into your hands tonight. Please take absolute control. Give power to your word. Hear and answer our prayers by fire. And let everybody have a testimony tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for everlasting joy foundation. Please let this foundation continue to work stronger and stronger. And let your name forever be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, I've been asked to share with you tonight on divine mercy. Divine mercy. When you go through the Bible, you will find out that we have one or two ex examples of people that um, cried to God for mercy and received mercy and received their miracles, particularly in the New Testament. For example, in Luke chapter 17, the Bible tells us about 17 lepers that cried to Jesus Christ for mercy, for their healing, and they were all healed. In Matthew chapter 9, the Bible tells us the story of two blind men. In Matthew chapter 9, they called on, on Jesus for mercy, for their miracle, and they received their sight. In Mark chapter 10, particularly verse 46 to 52, Mark 10, 46 to 52, we have the story of 
Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus was a blind man. He heard that Jesus was passing by. He cried to Jesus. He received his miracle. He cried for mercy. And God showed him mercy. Because of our time tonight, I want us to just concentrate on the story of Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus, like I told you, I will not be able to read because of our time, read the Bible passage, but you can, you can pen it down. Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52. He heard that Jesus was passing and he cried to Jesus for mercy. And the Bible says that same day, not even this, this, the following day, he, he received his sight. I pray for somebody in this meeting tonight. As you cry to God for mercy, you will receive your miracles in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. What is divine mercy? Simply put, the divine mercy is that mercy that comes from the Lord. It comes from the Lord to his children. It's a moral attribute of God and is what God expresses in ministering to his children out of compassion, out of his tender, tender, tender mercies, out of his, the tenderness of his heart. That is what is called divine mercy. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3, the Bible tells us that our God is the father of mercies. Our God is the father of mercies. And in Psalm 10, Sorry, Psalm 103, verse 8. Psalm 103, verse 8. The Bible says, our God is plenteous in mercy. And in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4. The Bible says, our God is rich in mercy. Our God loves to show mercy to his children from time to time. In Romans chapter 9, verses 15 and 16, Romans chapter 9, verses 15 and 16. God said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So it is not of him that will it, it is not of him that run it, but it's of God who shows mercy. I want to pray for somebody straight away in the house, in the name that's above all other names. The Lord will make you a candidate of mercy from now to the rest of your days, for the rest of your days in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, in the story of Bartimaeus, just as I said that we will focus on that story, we have a lot of blessings to take from that story. We will quickly look at the factors that helped Bartimaeus to receive mercy and subsequently his miracle. Number one, Bartimaeus was divinely positioned on that day. It was God that ordered his steps. Don't forget, in that story, Jesus was passing through Jericho. And Bartimaeus was positioned in a place where he could hear that Jesus was passing. And that actually helped him to, to make his request, to cry to Jesus for mercy. In Psalm 37, verse 23, Psalm 37, verse 23. The Bible says, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. I want you to lift your voice to him tonight and say, Father, as from now, please position me for your mercy. Order my steps to where my airpass of destiny will locate me and bless me in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, please open your mouth, cry to the Almighty. That's our major prayer number one. Say, Father, as from now, please position me for your mercy. Order my footsteps to where my helpers of destiny will locate me and bless me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Blessing number two. In Mark chapter 10, verse 47. In Mark chapter 10, verse 47, the Bible says, even as Bartimaeus was crying to Jesus for mercy, some people wanted to stop him. 
They said you should hold this peace. Who, who considers people somebody like you, a beggar, a blind man? In fact, some people must have been angry at his crying to Jesus. They must have thought probably his noise was disturbing them. But instead of keeping quiet, the Bible tells us that Bartimaeus cried the more until Jesus had him. Brethren, in the book of Psalms, Psalm 34, verse 6, the Bible says, This poor man cried, and the Lord had him and saved him out of all his troubles. I want to believe that somebody in the house tonight who is going to cry now to the Almighty God and will say, Father, please have mercy on me. I need your mercy. Whoever or whatever will not allow my cry for mercy to reach you, please take out of my way now. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, remove all hindrances, all obstacles, all obstructions that will not allow my cry to reach you tonight. In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 brethren. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, please have mercy on me tonight. As Bartimaeus cried to you and you heard him, you answered him. I am crying to you too tonight, almighty God. I need your mercy. And whosoever or whatsoever will not allow my cry to come up to you now, please take out of the way. Take out of my way by the blood of Jesus. Let every hindrance, every obstruction, every obstacle in the way of my cry to you tonight, in the way of my miracle, please let it, let it be removed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Blessing number three, brethren, in Mark chapter 10, verse 49. The Bible says, Jesus had Bartimaeus and he stood still. In other words, he suspended all other things. Don't forget, he was on his way to Jericho. I mean, he was going out of Jericho. But instead of proceeding on his journey, the Bible says, Jesus Christ stood still. He stopped. And just to attend to Bartimaeus, you will lift your voice to the Almighty tonight. You will say, Father, whatever you need to suspend, whatever protocol you need to suspend, so that you will attend to me tonight, please don't suspend it now. In the name of Jesus, whatever protocol, whatever, whatever, whatever thing you have to suspend, so that you can attend to me. You can put your name to me, or like GD, or like do it. Oh, God of heavens, please suspend it. Let my cry receive attention tonight in the name of Jesus. And by the prerogative of your mercy, please let me receive my miracle tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Lesson number four. In Mark chapter 10, verse 49. The Bible says the same people that initially asked Bartimaeus to keep quiet, we are the same people that Jesus Christ sent to bring him. They despised him initially. Like I told you, some of them must have been angry at his noise. But the Bible tells us, brethren, in Psalm 76, verse 10, Psalm 76, verse 10, the Bible says, surely the wrath of man shall praise thee. The remainder of wrath shall thou restrain. In other words, the Bible says here that even men, men and women are angry at you. When they want to stop you in anger, the Bible says by reason of their wrath, God will glorify his name. Praise will come to our God. So I want you to leave your voice to the Lord now and say, Father, Please let the wrath of man against my life bring you praise. Bring praise to your name in the name of Jesus. Father, let those who despise me be used as vehicles that I will ride to my destiny fulfillment in life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, beginning from now, let every wrath of man against my life Bring you praise in the name of Jesus. 
let those who despise me become the vehicles I will ride to the fulfillment of my destiny in life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Mark chapter 10, verse 15, the Bible says, Patimios arose. He cast out or cast away his outer garment and ran to Jesus. But one thing I want you to take note here is that even as at this time, Patimios was still blind. He had not received his sight. Somebody must have helped him. Somebody must have led him to Jesus, into the presence of Jesus for him to receive his miracle. In Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, the Almighty God said, among other things there, he said, I will help thee. There is somebody in the house tonight who will be a candidate for divine help. If you are the one, say amen. In verse 46, verse 1, verse, uh, sorry, Psalm 46, verse 1, the Bible says our God is a very present help in trouble. You are going to lift your voice to the Lord even now. You say, Father, from the four corners of the world and from heaven above, please send help to me. Send the path of destiny to me. Send divine assistance and divine assistance to me, to me to receive mercy and to receive my miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are the helper of the helpless. Oh, God of heavens, from the four corners of the world and from heaven above, almighty God, please send help to me. Send them to me. Send helpers of destiny, people that will help me to fulfill my destiny in life. Oh, wherever they are located, send them, oh God. Begin to talk to them on my behalf now. In the name of Jesus, amen. Blessing number six. Brethren, when Bartimaeus got to Jesus, Jesus asked him, what do you want? And the Bible tells us in verse 51, that straight away, Bartimaeus said, I want my sight. Bartimaeus did not ask him. It. He didn't miss words. He told him, he told Jesus, I want my sight. Some of us, when we come to a place of prayer, we ask our means. Instead of going straight to the, the, the point of our need, we'll be telling stories. In James chapter 4, verse 3, James chapter 4, verse 3, the Bible talks about some of us that don't receive when we ask because we ask our means. Lift your voice to the Almighty God now and say, Father, by the prerogative of your mercy, Beginning from now, anytime I'm in the place of prayer, please don't let me ask a miss again. In the name of Jesus, anytime I am in the place of prayer, the grace never to ask a miss again. Please, Lord, release upon my life. In the name of Jesus. And blessing number seven, where we will stop because of our time. When Bartimaeus got to Jesus, and after he has told Jesus what he wanted, Jesus Christ said, receive your miracle. Your miracle, your faith has made you whole. Brethren, whatever you need God to do for you, you need faith. Faith. Unbelief, doubt must give way for faith in all our lives. The Bible says, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, the Bible says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Everyone that comes to him <coughs> must believe, excuse me, must believe him for who he is, and that is the reward of them that diligently seek him. So I want you to cry to the Almighty and say, Father, beginning from now, like never before, give me a living faith a faith that will please you, a faith that will catalyze my prayer request, a, pray, a, a, a faith that will, will not allow me to allow doubts or unbelief to play any part when it comes to my prayer unto you. Go ahead and tell him, Father, please give me a living faith. 
give me a living faith in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brethren, before we close tonight, I'm sure some of you will have your prayer, personal prayer request. Go to the Almighty now and tell him, say, Father, by the prerogative of your mercy, do this, do that, do that. You don't limit God. The God we serve is a big God and he's a wonder working God. He's merciful. Tell him, Father, do this for me tonight by the prerogative of your mercy. In the name of Jesus, I am in perfect agreement with you, my brothers and sisters. If you ask according to his will and purpose, you can be sure he will hear and answer you. Go, go to him now. Tell him what you want him to do for you. God is here. God is in our midst. The Bible says we are two or three are gathered together in his name. There is in, in their midst. Call on him. He's a merciful God. And he loves expressing his mercy in the lives of his children. Tell him to do wonders in your life tonight. Tell him to show you mercy. Ask him for your miracle. Ask him for your, for your miracle, my brothers and sisters. For your personal miracle, for your family miracle, for your professional miracle. Just go ahead and ask him. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. As I conclude tonight, brethren, our God is still in the business of showing mercy. The Bible tells us in Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, that he is God. He said, I am God, I change not. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, the Bible says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. What he did for Bartimaeus, what he did for the blind man, what he did for the lepers, he, he can do for you too. But I must not fail to tell you that if you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, you need to do that now. Because the expression of his mercy for miracles, for signs and for wonders is done only in the lives of his children. So if you are here to, to be born again, if you are here to surrender your life to Jesus, your cry, your, your cry to the Almighty tonight to be, Father, have mercy on me. Forgive my sins. In the name of the Lord Jesus, go ahead and talk to him. As many of you as are here to surrender your life to Jesus, go to him now and say, Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, please show me mercy tonight. I am a sinner. Forgive my sins. And let me also be a candidate for your mercy for the rest of my life. Go ahead and talk to him before I pray finally with you. Thank you, Father. Lord, I give you praise. Blessed be your name for this meeting. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, one more time, we bless your name. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the meeting tonight. One thing we know is that you are that God who hears and answers prayers. Lord, we believe that our prayers tonight have come before you as a sacrifice of sweet smelling savour. And we know that the answers will come by fire. The answers will come speedily. So Lord, I pray for all your children tonight, as many of them as have lifted up their voices unto you in prayer. My Father, my God, answer them now in the name of Jesus, that in the next 24 hours, they will return with their testimonies to the glory of your name and to the shame of the devil. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your holy name. 